following is from a cooperative project for acquiring skills essential to learning. said she was on the third floor. It's easy to check. Let's see. Meet Lisa and Chuck, my grandchildren. I had an accident and they're here to visit me at the hospital. But, well, that's not really the point of this story. It's really about putting people into groups, classifying them. In the hospital, for example, patients are classified according to their injuries or illnesses. This lets the hospital staff better care for people. I was on the fifth floor of the orthopedics ward because I broke my arm. Why? My broken arm was nothing serious, but it led Lisa to begin treating me as a helpless, older person. She forgot that I am an individual. It was almost as if she put me into a mold and, and wouldn't let me out. That's called stereotyping. Lisa made a mistake. One thing led to another, and, well, you'll see what I mean. Excuse me. Yes? We've come to visit our grandmother, and we'd like to know what room she's in. Well, there's a slight problem. Visiting hours are over for the afternoon. By the way, how old are you? I'm 12, and he's 10. Why? Children under 14 aren't allowed to visit patients. How come? Hospital rules. It has to do with passing on childhood illnesses like measles and mumps to the patients. Can't we see our grandmother? I'm sorry, no. But I could at least tell you how she's doing. What's her name? Grandma Miller. Um, Mrs. Martha Miller. Really? Quite a coincidence. I was going over her chart. I'm her doctor. You're a doctor? That's right. Dr. Tyler. But you're a woman. She thought you were a nurse. Well, I'm a doctor. Got the diploma on the wall, the stethoscope, and everything. Let's see. Whoa, she's doing very well. In fact, she's going home tomorrow. We can tell by looking at those lines. Sure, it's easy. Just like the graphs you do in school. She's only in the fourth grade. Oh, I see. Well, let me show you. Look, we took her temperature every four hours from the time she was first admitted. See? Right here. This is normal body temperature. When she first came in, she had a slight fever. See where it rose? But her temperature has been normal or near to normal all day long. And that tells you that it's okay for Grandma to come home? No, I make bad decisions. But this gives me some of the information I need to make it. Are those for Mrs. Miller? Yes, they're from our garden. Actually, it's Grandma's garden. We thought she might like to have them. Betty, could you find the young man something to put these in? I'll hold down the fort. Sure. Come on. ask you something? Sure. How come Grandma had to come to the hospital? Well, we wanted to observe her. But that's just it. Chuck broke his leg a year ago. All he had to do was go to the doctor's office. They put a cast on and he came home. Six weeks later, they took it off, and that was it. This will be Grandma's second night in the hospital, and Mom says she'll have the cast on for an awful long time. Well, you see, as people get older, they have special needs. A bone fracture is a good example. The older you get, the slower a fracture will heal. That's why older people have to be extra careful about falls and things. So, like, older people shouldn't do that much because they might get hurt? Well... Dr. Tyler, Dr. Tyler, please come to ICU staff. I've got to get up to ICU. Okay. I'm sure your grandmother will enjoy the flowers. Bye-bye. Bye. what I 
told you. You mean about not bugging Grandma? Right. Grandma's getting older now. She can't do things like she used to. Mom has to work, so it's going to be up to us to do everything for her. Bye, Grandma. Let's help you. All right, Chuck, now just hold it. Wait till your mother sits down. Now, Tanya, it's great to get out of that place. Oh, the food was awful. They probably don't put a lot of spices in it. Just as well. When people get to yours, they have to be a little more careful about what they eat. I broke my arm, you know, not my stomach. That's another thing. You shouldn't try to do so much. That's the reason you broke your arm. What are you talking about? Now, I just slipped off the step stool when I was trying to reach the salt. That's what I'm saying. You should watch your diet. Did I miss something in this conversation? Don't ask me. This is all Lisa's idea. I just think Lisa's concerned, Mother. She doesn't want to see you overdo. Is that it, Lisa? Sure. That's all. Well, thanks. I'll think. You sure you want a drink? Of course I wanted it. Positive? Yeah, yeah. I can't understand it. Yours wouldn't mind getting it. Did you talk to him? Sure. Where did that buy? Hey, Chuck, you can hang around with Grant. No. Can't lose all bad vibes. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just a little school project. Can I get you anything? I just thought I'd get some milk. something? A sweater? I can get you one. Are you kidding? It's hot out here. I think I'll do some weeding. You know, it looks as though this garden's about to get away from us. You just take it easy. I'll do it. You have to think about your arm. I'll get Chuck to help out. Nathan. What is that? Isn't it far out? Sure. Whose is it? It's yours. Mine? Well, not exactly. It's not the Sandy's grandfather's, but he got a new one. Lisa was telling my mom and dad about you, and they said it sounded like you needed it worse than they did. Oh, my gosh. We knew you were going to the store. Mom's gone, so you'd have to walk. But now you don't have to. We can push you. Well, you can just push yourself if you want to push somebody, because I'm not riding in that thing. Imagine a wheelchair. Just because a person is getting on in years doesn't mean they're totally disabled. I knew Lisa had my best interests at heart, but still, she tried my patience to the limit. Older people like me have many things in common. We share some similarities because most of us are approximately the same age. But that doesn't mean that we're all stamped out of the same mold. And it certainly doesn't mean that we're all exactly the same. We have important differences, too. Individual differences. She's upset. I can see why. But, Mom, she has to realize she's getting older. Older people have special needs. They bloom kind of like roses. They have to be taken care of. Mm. Old people are like roses. That's nice, darling. Very poetic. Do you see my point? Sure. I think that's a nice analogy. To 
comparing old people to roses. You certainly can classify people into groups, just like you can with flowers. I knew you'd understand. But I think there's a problem with your analogy. What? Look, are each of these roses exactly the same? Well, no. But they're all pretty much the same. True, but each is so different in some ways. Just like people. Each needs individual attention. So? So, how would you like it if your sixth grade teacher treated you just like every other child? You didn't pay attention to your special needs and abilities. How would it be if my sixth grade teacher treated me just like everyone else? Hmm. All right, class. For your next essay assignment, I want all the boys to write about their favorite sport and all the girls to write about their favorite fashion designer. Yes, Lisa? But baseball's my favorite game. I guess I wouldn't like it at all. That'd be an unhappy flower, right? So why do you think Grandma, just because she's old, needs you to follow her around all day doing every little thing for her? I don't know. Don't you think you're overwatering at least one rose that I know about? Hmm? Hmm? Think about it, Lisa. Look at this. It's terrible. Yeah, it sure isn't very good. Well, maybe you should try music. Maybe you should sing to it. Oh, come on. Do you sing to yours? Well, no. But obviously, mine doesn't like music. Could you help us? What's the problem? Well, we don't know. Maybe you could figure it out. You know a lot about plants and things. Well, I could try. We're growing these plants for a school project. We placed them both in the windowsill to get the direct sunlight. But look what happened. Hmm. Everything was the same? We used the same soil. Same amount of water? Yes. What kind of water? Water, water. Sam, did you have a water softener in your home? No, why? Ah, come on, I'll show you. Well, Lisa, would you take that in the dark for me, please, dear? Sure. Thank you. You know, a lot of the time, water that passes through a softener has got a higher salt content. Because salt's used in the process of softening the water. Why didn't we think of that? So simple. Oh, well, don't worry about it. These are the things you learn from experience. Now, if I were you... Oh, well, we well, 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 that feels good to have that thing off. Mm -hmm. She's not ready to hit the doubleheader yet. Maybe a couple of weeks. You know, I'm glad that task came off today. I have a job interview tomorrow, and I just didn't want to show up with it on. Job? What job? I got to thinking about what I know and what I can do, and I saw this ad for a clerk in a florist shop. Is that okay? I mean, should she... Are you going to dig any ditches in this job, Martha? No. Leap tall buildings with a single bound? No. Then what's the problem? Think About is supported by state and provincial agencies working through the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education.